No jump scares yet. Just creepy sh I might have spoken too soon. Welcome back to Spooky Time with Eddie. Is that what we're gonna call this now? I'm reacting to more horror videos today. Now, after I did the back rooms, the most requested video for me to watch was the Mandela catalogs. Countless and countless of people were like, Eddie, you should check it out. It's more analog horror, VHS style, just like we like it around here. All right, this is the Mandela catalogs volume one. If you want me to watch volume two, because I know there's a volume two, 60,000 likes and all I'll do volume two. I'm giving y'all a real challenge this time. All right, let's watch. We are currently receiving countless reports of an unidentified hostile organism what that is it? we'll refer to as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of the threat, it's important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or any ranged weapon at all times. First of all, that's that's <laughs> we're that's easy in America. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> are they talking about alternate human beings? Or are they talking about aliens? I, okay, let's just watch. I think they're talking about alternate human beings. Okay, let's watch. You will know if an alternate exists solely based on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person that has a biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If one manages to break into your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life for- Okay, hold up, this is going by way too fast and it's creepy as hell. What? We got human beings that look like you? They got like, big heads and long arms? What them arms do though? <laughs> <laughs> they give big hugs. <laughs> so if they come in your house, don't talk to them or try to communicate with them. Otherwise, what happens? Any kind of communication or contact with the threat. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. So what, do they just like, make angry tweets? While we heavily discourage any form of contact or communication with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at executing them yourself. In the event of an alternate encounter, follow the think principle. The think principle. Tell an authority figure about your encounter. Hinder the alternate's movement. Identify the class type. And neutralize the alternate if safe to do so. And give God a kiss. You can figure it out. There, uh, uh, because there's not enough room for the two of us. So wait, did an alternate write this? The think principle. Know your place in reality. Okay, this is great. Wait. Know your enemy. Type one. Doppelganger. Okay, so they're gonna show the types. Oh, that's so creepy. Because it just looked... They look alike. Basically deep fakes. <laughs> Don't trust deep fakes of yourself. Type three. Oh! Oh God. Once without faces? Uh oh. Victim one, victim two. Did they die? Mark Heathcliff and Cesar Torres. Okay, um. Hey, it's Caesar. I hope it's not too late. No, it's fine. Don't worry. What's up? Are you right? Yeah, it's not me. It's my mom. She's knocked out cold, and I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. 
Would you mind if I asked why? Oh, well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like what the broadcast told us to do? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. Alright, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing, try to get a good view of the Okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because the acting is so bad. <laughs> my man didn't even try to sound worried, man. Yeah, I'm on my way to take my mom to the ER. She was knocked out cold. By the way, you wouldn't mind coming over to my house and um, turning on the security cameras. She screamed really loud right before she fell on the ground. <laughs> Can you try to sound a little worried? Unless he's the killer. Okay, so what did he say right before he went all glitchy? Let's check it out. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the Try to get a good view of the back alleyway. What's the... Okay. Alright, I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. Why do I feel so uneasy right now? This is really creepy. Aw, oh, shit. What is this? I like the variety in different scenes. Like, you got phone calls and shit, and you got, like, commercial-style stuff. Like, government warnings that sound all friendly. And then you got this. IRL footage. Oh no. I'm just saying, if I ever saw myself, I would probably freak out, start screaming, call a priest, get some Jesus candles. I wouldn't talk to me. F that. I'm scared, y'all. I'm actually like, I'm, I'm scared. I'm creeped the f out right now. Oh, not a basement. Are you serious? Was that a graveyard? Oh. Uh. Something's gonna happen in each of these. That's why they keep showing them. Motion detected at 3.31 a.m. Recording start. That's the witching hour. That's when shit goes down. Cabrones. What is that? What is- I just got chills. What is that? Wait, 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 pause. Yo, is that one of the alternates with like long arms and shit? That was not like that. That looked like a gravestone. That looks like it's got limbs and it's looking right at us. It's got... Oh, f man. Shit, why am I recording this shit at night? Chingada madre, güey. Okay, let's play it. I'm, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm just, I'm scared. I'm scared. Play that shit. Look, see? That looks different now. Oh, the door is open. Ya abrieron la puerta, güey. Valimos madre, cabrones. Sound increase detected at 5.31 a.m. Recording start. Let me guess. It's someone at my door delivering Uber Eats from my caretaker, Molly. That's a true story. It was dark and I was still asleep, man. Anyway, all right, go. Who are you? G get away from me! No! Wait, no mames! I'm so unsettled. It followed me home, Caesar. 
but 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 me and Mark, I have a gift for you, you, you. I have a present. Oh God. I have a surprise. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the way they sound? D d so they sound like the person they're imitating, but they have like that, I have a surprise. Like, <laughs> they have like auto-tune enabled. I will not hurt. Oh my god. I don't want to see what is on the other side. I don't either. Please don't show us. But it has been days. Days? And nobody has come to help me. Oh no. You fucking bastard! Oh! Uh oh. Bad decision, Mark. Okay. So, the person who drove to the house was Mark, the guy that was on the phone with Caesar. He said to come check on the house, so Mark drove to Caesar's house, and he came in contact with one of the alternates. But he didn't follow the rules! He ended up communicating with it, and it sounds like he made a bad decision. And now, Mark is in the forever box. <laughs> No jump scares yet. Just creepy shit. I might have spoken too soon. Ha! Ah! Okay. Yo. No estén chingando, güey. That thing is staring into my soul. Nobody came for me. Oh. Okay. So Mark ended up doing step five, which again, because of YouTube's new guidelines, I can't show it. This is why you never call 911 when it comes to a creepy situation. You could have called anyone else. Viewing of the following footage is illegal and punishable by law if not previously cleared with your assistant. If you have access to this recording and are not part of your local authority, please stop the video and discard the tape immediately. Well, unlucky for me, I don't have an assistant. Who? What do I look like? I don't need no assistant's permission. Mandela County Police Department training video. Position emergency call operator. So this is the 911 person. While at the station, a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to us instead. Okay, so they're the call center version of the 911 call center. There are only three scenarios that you will handle with a caller. Three common emergencies. Police. When a caller needs the police, send available personnel to the address. Okay, and then the fire department. When the caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. Well, no shit, we know this. And medical. I mean, it's pretty when standard the stuff. Has All a right. Medical emergency. Immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital. Ba, 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 ba. Here at the Mandela County Police Department, we thank you for viewing this instruction. Encounter! Oh shit. Do not help a caller reporting an alternate encounter. Wait, but you said to contact the correct authority, no matter how frantic their screams are. Are you shitting me? What if my arm is deep in their throat and they're munching and slowly eating away at me? And I'm screaming! Right, let's keep watching. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. But yeah, but don't send anyone, right? The call can be ended when the stop... The call can be ended when they stop responding to your questions. 
don't speak too much, you might accidentally reveal your fear. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Toddler stress assessment video. Record your child's responses to the following media. Section 1. I'm a toddler. At heart. That's a bird. He he he. Ha ha ha. Burb. 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 Oh, that's a baby. Okay, I hear baby cry, baby laughing or crying. Who knows these days? A record response. He's probably possessed. That. Bruh. 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 That sounds like food. Food and clothing. Daddy didn't tuck me in. And there is a man in the closet. Oh, shit. I don't like this. <laughs> the Scary Night by Mark, age four. School. Mandela Elementary School. Great 4K. Four, so he's in the fourth grade. Daddy didn't check under my bed last night. What was under your bed? So I went to mommy's room. Okay. Does she have a separate room than daddy? I was scared. There was a scary knocking on the door. No chingen cabrones, and the scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. <laughs> I know this feeling. Scary. Me. <sighs> Please don't show footage of that. Almost at mommy's room. Then I saw the man in the corner. Oh, shit! Just the description is making my head go crazy right now, man. Him. Oh, at least he's smiling. And then I fell asleep. The end. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My, my hair is kind of standing up on its end. Just based on that story alone, I was that kid that would run to mom and dad's room because I thought that I was going to have an apparition or some bullshit come out. Especially dolls. The dolls my sisters had, they had like a doll that was advertised that could walk on its own when you hold, when you held its hand. Having that in the room was enough for me to not be able to sleep in there. I just relate to that kid's story so much. <laughs> okay. What else? Section two. There's more. Gato! Hey, that's that's Kiki, man. Ah, stock photos. <laughs> no one takes a picture like that. B um, Crip Pennywise. <laughs> scary, scary, danger, danger, stranger, danger. Oh, uh, scary, stranger, danger, stranger, danger. Man, <laughs> bro, what's up, bro? <laughs> an intruder. Wait, is that an alternate? Module complete. If anything unexpected occurred during the test, let your advisor know immediately. The Mandela Catalog, Volume 1, by Alex Kister. Special thanks to the analog horror community for your ongoing support. <laughs> All right. That's it. Um, that's the Mandela catalogs. Definitely bone chilling. Especially the part where the face came up on the screen and they were breathing. Again, the part with the kid. Just a simple door at the end. A dark room is enough to make me feel unsettled. Look at the next recommended video's thumbnail. Look at that recommended video coming up. Holy f that stuff makes the hair on my neck stand on its end and I don't even have any hair on my neck. I grew hair specifically for it to be able to stand in response to this horror. I'm extremely unsettled now and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> Especially with the dark doors. You know how many dark doors there are in my house? Gabby is asleep right now. And I have to walk through my hallway that has stairs that are pitch black looking down towards the first floor. On my left is the guest bedroom 
that is also pitch black. Then it's Gabby's office, which is also pitch black. Then it's the restroom, which is also pitch black. And then finally, I get to walk into the master bedroom, which is also pitch black. <laughs> and just thinking about that journey <laughs> is making me a little uneasy. <laughs> that was the lamp in the corner of my room. That corner of the room is very dark and there's a lamp there and I freaked out. <laughs> okay, I'm extremely unsettled and I shouldn't even be because we're just what it, it's the fact that it looked real and that it man, look, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Should I watch the Mandela catalog volume two? I don't know, 60,000 likes. I'll do it, cabrones, just for you. But for now, I'm gonna go make that journey to my room. Luckily, I have a pencil. If I encounter an alternate, then <laughs> I will make good use of this. I won't talk to it. I won't even look at it, but I'll make good use of this pencil. Hopefully they haven't dropped the soap on my way to the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm out. I love you guys, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye. I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm out.